Good morning. If you've been following my previous uh, AutoCAD LT for architectural drawings tutorial, then uh, you'll know that we've been doing furniture drawings and we're preparing a library of furniture so that when we start a floor plan, all the furniture will be ready for us to just click and snap into place so that we don't have to draw them all from scratch. So today I'm continuing this series and in this video we're doing all of the furnitures for the living room. I thought instead of doing uh, one furniture at a time videos, this time I'll just get the whole room of furnitures into one video and you can see uh, how they're drawn. Now in this video I'm not gonna draw everything uh, from scratch because if you've reached this far by now you should know how to draw lines and how to connect lines and dimensions and texts and all the all the little details and some of the tricky details if you're getting stuck with the tricky details then go back and watch the previous videos again but on this one I've included the dimensions and I'm gonna show you one new tool which is the fillet tool and it makes uh, it makes this curve around the corners so before it's it's like this and then it uh, turns into a fillet when we use the fillet tool so I'm gonna show you that but first I'm just gonna show you the three-seater sofa the three-seater sofa according to the metric handbook is 1850 millimeters long and 850 millimeters in depth remember that all the remember that you only need the external dimensions you need you need the external lines to be at the correct dimensions at the correct metric dimensions anything inside draw it however you like um, if uh, if you want to draw um, what things what things do uh, sofas have if you want to draw a half-eaten pizza stuck in the between of your sofa seats or you wanna you want to draw a, a dog sleeping on this end of the sofa I don't know you, you know what I'm talking about if you want to customize anything inside do as you like it's only the outside dimensions that are of concern so this is a three-seater sofa and here is the armchair sofa and I'm gonna show you how I turned it into an armchair or well, I'm, go I'm gonna show you what I did here to make it look like that so First, I'm going to do the line tool and I want to create the lines here to uh, stop the arms somewhere. Now, I'm just guessing how far they are. It doesn't matter how far they are because these are inside details and you can draw them however you like. This is your architectural project you do as you please and I'm dragging this over here just to create a guideline because for some reason when I try to uh, use the guideline here it, it won't run all the way through okay and I'm gonna get rid of this one now I'm going to use the hold on let me check here so the arms are going to run up to here so I'm going to use the trim tool TR and select the top one or just hit enter on your keyboard and trim these away <coughs> okay and also trim this away okay now we have the general shape of our armchair but we want to make that nice shape so type fill F-I-L 
and you want to fill it too so I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard and I'm gonna select I want to make this fill it here so I'm gonna select my first object then I'm gonna go down here and select radius and the radius I've been playing around with this you can try playing around with it too I found 45 to look decent maybe maybe uh, a lower degree would be even better but I'm gonna stick with 45 for now enter and select the second line and it will fill it the lines like this so I'm gonna do this for the whole uh, chair now F I L fill it enter and make sure to click multiple from down here so you don't have to keep on typing the tool every single time click multiple and fill it away fill it every little bit fill it this fill it that fill it this and I think our filleting is done and there's your armchair sofa or just armchair so that's at 800 and no it's not 805 because the dimensions change because we fill it in this so I'm going to delete those and get the dimension tool and select it from here to here so it's 850 by 850 and that's your armchair sofa at metric dimensions <coughs> The coffee table metric dimension is 1300 by 500 your simple coffee table there your armless chair sofa so a sofa like this but without arms and it's a bit smaller than this one so this one comes in at a width of 700 millimeters and a length or depth of 750 and then we have the casual chair or this is just it's a chair that's not an armchair it's just a chair in your home a casual chair design it however you like but the dimensions have to be 500 by 500 and I'm going to show you how I did this it's exactly the same just use the fillet tool so first I'm going to trim I'm going to trim this away and I'm going to trim these away to make it look like this and then I'm using the fillet tool remember to hit multiple your 45 degrees should already be set so fill it away fill it away keep filleting until you fill it a fish. Fill it, fill it, fill it. And there you go, your casual chair. Do whatever design you want. Keep the outside dimensions like this. And this is a classic TV set. The width is 600 by 450. I don't think. I don't think people would use this in today's kinds of uh, floor plans you'd probably be using uh, flat screen TVs but I haven't found the dimensions for a flat screen TV yet but when I do I will post about it okay this is how all your furniture is going to look you got a three-seater sofa an armchair sofa that's supposed to look like this coffee table armless chair sofa or just chair sofa a casual chair and a classic tv that is the furniture for the living room i appreciate that we have more kinds of furniture you might have a bookcase in your living room you might have uh let me look around my living room i have two baby seats heaters 
Uh, we should find out the dimensions of heaters actually. I have curtains. We need to find out that for sure. And I have my desk which I'm talking and working on right now. In the next video we're going to do all of the furniture for the dining room. So we have a bunch of tables to draw for that. Uh, if you want to support this channel go over to technicaldraft.com forward slash shop. Uh, you can buy yourself some nice mechanical pencils. That's what I'm selling. The money made for the mechanical pencils, a part of it will go back into the website and a part of it will go towards paying for AutoCAD LT, paying for the subscription. And if you like the video, do hit the like for me and subscribe if you're new. I love this measure tool, man. It's so cool. Like, whatever I paid for to get this software, it was it was all for this measure tool. I, I love this measure tool. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Bye.